Taylor Swift actually took the stage a few minutes early, right at 7.53, walked them through all of her classics way back to the start of her career, as she referred to it, back to high school, taking the audience down memory lane there, and they were glad to go with her. Just an electric atmosphere inside. Very cramped seating, though. I don't think I saw a single seat that wasn't filled. None of them were really being used, though. Everybody up on their feet most of the time, just cheering on Taylor Swift. And, you know, just from speaking to fans, kind of surprised at just uh, the sheer number of people who aren't just here for tonight's show, but plan to be back for tomorrow night's show. Probably with a slightly different seat, and as they put it to me, a different view, making that experience and the double ticket price well worth the cost. Kyle? All right, Luke Jones reporting live out there outside of Paycor Stadium. Luke, I think a lot of people are jealous of just how close you were <laughs> to the one, the only, we are talking about Taylor Swift tonight. Great insight there, Luke. Thank you for taking us all inside there. So you know